Hey kids, hey happy Monday. Beautiful day out here, so I thought I'd do some outside videos for you. It's the only good weather day we're gonna have this week. Um, what I wanna do today is I wanna talk about how to cut sheet goods. When I refer to sheet goods, that's anything that comes in four by eight sheets. So that could be something like plywood or paneling or something like that that you might be cutting in your house. Um, one of the easiest things you can do when you're cutting stuff like this, what we like to do at work, is you take your saw horses, and what I did, I put a couple uh, two by sixes that I have underneath of it because what the problem is, anytime that you're cutting something with a circular saw like I'm gonna use, and you get through, what happens is that material wants to fall down and it becomes dangerous and it can pinch the saw blade. So what those two by sixes underneath of here are gonna do, they're gonna support the material. But before I can do that, I need to uh, adjust my blade height and I wanna do a couple other things. So this is a, a sheet that I bought. This is OSB, it's kind of like a, a, a byproduct. It's used uh, for sheathing on houses and roofs and stuff. It's pretty inexpensive. But what I'm using it for is for the ceiling of the playhouse. Um, when I put the shingles down, there's nails that are poking through. So on the loft section of it, I don't want my girls to go up and hit their head on a nail. So I'm gonna put some of this up. It's about $9 for a sheet, so it wasn't too bad. Um, so I wanna mark this, and there's a couple ways you can do that. I brought a couple tools. This is a drywall T-square. If you don't have one of these, a straight edge will work fine if you can find something longer and straight. And another thing you could use, if you have a chalk line, this is something that you could use easily. And what this is basically, it's a line that has string and you fill it up full of chalk. And when you pull it tight and snap it, it puts a line down on whatever you're cutting. So um, both are options that you could do, but you know, get creative. If you have a straight edge, that works fine too. There's no need to run to the store to buy a chalk line if you have something straight lying around. So I went in and got a measurement and I'm gonna mark this. Now if you don't have one of these, this is a carpenter's pencil and I like using these because the lead stays sharp a lot longer. And another thing, if you're on a roof or something like that and you drop it, a lot of times it's flat and it's not gonna roll. This is a carpenter's pencil. Anytime you buy something at one of your lumber yards like 84 just ask them say hey you have any carpenters pencils and a lot of times they'll have them right under the counter and they'll throw you a couple so that's a little tip so i'm going to go ahead and mark this i'm going to take the edge of the square and place it on the edge over here now these sheets from the factory are they're square so there's no need to make too much fuss that way but I want to make sure that my back edge here of my square is nice and tight up against this. I'm going to put a nice dark line. You really, really got to stretch. And the nice thing about putting these two by fours or two by whatever you have that supports it under there, you can put a little bit of weight on here. That's four feet across. That's a pretty big reach. I want to get a nice dark line. And before I cut anything, you know what they always say, measure twice, cut once. So I'm gonna check myself one more time before I make this cut. Good to go. Now, I'm gonna get everything, everything off of this because I don't want something falling off when I'm making the cut. Now listen, anytime you're cutting any type of sheet goods or anything for that matter, if you're outside, inside, doesn't matter, make sure that you have glasses on. Now these aren't, sun, these aren't just regular sunglasses, they are safety glasses. You can pick these up at Lowe's. They're gonna do two things for you. They're gonna protect your eyes and you're gonna look cool when you're wearing them, all right? Now, um, before I set this blade depth, here's another tip. Don't ever grab the saw or underneath by that blade with the saw plugged in. I got it unplugged right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this blade depth because here, here's what you don't wanna do. That blade all the way down, even if you put something underneath of this and you cut through, it's, if you have that blade plunged all the way down, it's gonna cut through whatever you have underneath of there, and it's gonna come plunging down, and you're not doing yourself any good. So make sure that you adjust that blade to where it's probably like about an eighth inch or so below whatever you're cutting, and that's just a little tip. If not, there's another thing that you can do that I'm gonna do here in a second. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is a, 
saw that I like to use. It's a left blade saw. And the beauty of this is when I'm cutting, I can see my blade as I cut. Most of your blades on the right, you have to take your head and go like that. This is a left blade saw, very, very useful. So on this saw, there's a little tab right here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plunge that blade down to where it's just below the material and I'm gonna lock it down in place. Now, I'm gonna set this thing down for a second. The boards that I have underneath of here are something I don't wanna cut and put a blade into because I'm gonna use them for the actual steps to get up into the loft. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this railing baluster just something extra i have i'm going to put it under here and that's going to prop this up so i don't cut through so i'm just going to kind of pick this up and i'm going to slide that underneath that and that's going to support that material that's going to keep me from cutting through and that material will come crashing so when i get done with my cut this is gonna fall down just a little bit, but not enough to where it's gonna alarm me or it's gonna hit the ground. It's gonna be an unsafe situation. That's why we're doing this because we're trying to make this as safe as we can. You know, a circular saw, there's a lot of people that have accidents for these. They're very prone to kickback. So you always wanna make sure that you don't put yourself in a position to where you can make this thing kick back. And a lot of times what happens, anytime that that material pinches, that saw wants to kick back. So that's why we're doing this, so you don't get that kickback. Now, one of the biggest things with these saws, make sure that cord is out of the way. I can't tell you the amount of times I've seen people, you don't watch the cord and you cut through it, so make sure your cord's out of the way. Now I'm gonna go through and make this cut. Material safely falls down, makes it a safe situation. There's no need to panic. Everything's good, and that's the safest way, the easiest way that you can cut sheet goods. I'll see you tomorrow, Monarchs.